Hi, welcome to Enchiridion. I am very excited to share with you these facts on Sungaripterus. Sungaripterus was a Sungaripter pterosaur with an average wingspan of almost 10 feet or 3 meters. It lived during the early Cretaceous in what is now China, and its first fossil was found in the Jungar Basin. Sungaripterus was described in 1964 by Yang Yangyan. The hull type is IBPP B2776, a partial skull and skeleton. From 1973, more material has been discovered, including almost complete skulls. In 1980, Peter Gollin renamed Serdactylus branchi, named by Rack in 1931, a form from a late Jurassic African formation, into Sungaripterus branchi, yet the identification is now commonly rejected. In 1982, Natasha Bakarina named the new species Sungaripterus parpus, based on a smaller skeleton from Mongolia. Later, this specimen was renamed in a Phobitor, a preoccupied name, and in 2009 concluded to be identical to Noripterus. In 2002, a Sungaripterus wing finger phalanx was reported from Korea. Sungaripterus wei had a wingspan of 10 to 11 and a half feet, or 3 to 3.5 meters. Like most Sungaripteroids, it had a quite robust skeleton with thick walls and stout proportions, suggesting a mostly terrestrial lifestyle. The fly style of these creatures is unknown, but it was probably defined by extensive flapping and abrupt landings. Pterosaurs that belong to the Sungaripteridae group are thought to have mainly, if not exclusively, fed upon shellfish, and adaptations for this diet can be clearly seen in Sungaripteroids itself. The tip of the snout is toothless and curves upwards. This would have been ideal for levering up shellfish that were stuck in the mud, just like if you used a crowbar that would lift something. The teeth towards the back of the jaw were blunt, not much use in holding onto your wriggling fish, but rather useful for cracking open shells to get at the soft-bodied invertebrates therein. The skull of Sungaripterus, 16 to 20 inches or 40 to 50 centimeters long, bore a low, small bone crest that ran down from the base of the skull to halfway to the beak. Sungaripterus' head and neck were together almost 3.3 feet or 1 meter long. Its most notable feature are its long, narrow, upcurved jaws with a pointed tip. A small bony projection also rose from the back of the skull to form a second crest. It had no teeth in the front part of its jaws, which were probably used to remove prey from cracks and rocks and the sandy, muddy inland environments it inhabited. It had knobby, flat teeth more to the back of the jaw that were well suited for crushing the armor of shellfish or other hard objects. Sungaripterus also had a palate similar to that of Asdorkoi pterosaurs. Sungaripterus means young or basin wing. It combines a reference to the young or basin with a Latinized Greek pteron, meaning wing. It was named by renowned paleontologist C.C. C. Young in 1964 on the basis of a well-preserved partial skull and skeleton. It belongs to the kingdom Animalia, the phylum Curdata, the order Pterosauria, the suborder Pterodactyloidea, the family Sungaripteridae, the genus Sungaripterus, and the species Sungaripterus way. It was classified by Yang as a member of the Sungaripteridae. Sungaripteridae is a family of strange pterosaurs with similar curved jaws and strong crushing teeth at the back of the mouth. Below is a cladogram showing the results of a phylogenetic analysis presented by Andres and colleagues in 2014. They recovered Sungaripterus within the clade Sungaripteromorpha, which is a subgroup within the Asdercoidea, more specifically within Sungaripteridae, sister taxon to Comecodactylus. Their cladogram is shown below. In 2019, a different topology, this time by Kellner and colleagues, was published. In this study, Sungaripteridae was recovered outside of Asdercoidea within the larger group. Tope Horidae, sister taxon Turneripterus. The cladogram of the analysis is shown below. Species include the type, Sungaripterus way. The specific name, way, honors paleontologist C.M. Way of the Paleontological Division, Institute of Science, Borea of Petroleum of Xinjiang. Its diet consisted of shellfish. There were adept walkers that fed mostly from waterways, dipping for freshwater snails, mollusks, and mussels. It had a wingspan of 10 to 11 and a half feet, or 3 to 3.5 meters. It has been found in a jungle basin in China. It lived in lacustrine environments. 
It lived during the Aptian to Albion of the Cretaceous, 140.2 to 99.7 million years ago, and fossil representation includes several specimens. And with that, Thank you for watching this prehistoric beast shorts under the Cretaceous period pterosaur section. Sarcosuchus video incoming, hopefully next week, and then we'll be tackling interesting questions like why did animals begin to live on land, the evolution of spinosaurids, which will be a really fun episode, and the requested videos of the Avalon explosion and Rangiomorph. After that, we'll be talking about Glyptodon and Megatherium under a prehistoric beast episode, as well as Dinotherium and Allosaurus. Furthermore, We'll be continuing with the short episodes. Thank you for your support. As always, this is Enchiridion. See you next time.